Um, what's next? The, the Mavericks, the West Ham Mavericks. I think it's pretty cool that they're getting away from cats and starting something new. I think that's pretty neat. Um, the one thing that I saw where they were making bragging points and all this other stuff, um, from my perspective, and being non-mobile, uh, from, from a non-mobile perspective, it's sh sheer computing power. Oh, West Ham has, has a lot of things that I'll have to check that, that can be switched off for uh, power management. And because I, Apple's not doing anything wrong, so to speak. It, the world is running more on batteries than we are. You know, we're running more on DC than we are on AC, if it's, uh, to put it simply, and computing. You know, tablets from to ultrabooks to, to, to but to smart power to phones. But smart power management for I'm um, guessing what you're going to get into will definitely get in the way of performance of a desktop. Correct. That's what I'm getting. Yeah, and, and, and it can be turned off if I'm on AC and all sort of stuff because I'm not interested in saving cycles. Um, oh, but don't you want to be Ewoky green and save the trees and worry about your carbon <laughs> footprint? And I don't think they're looking at it from an Ewok perspective. Right? I, <laughs> the more powerful that these systems, let's be frank, mobile is moving towards desktop slowly, only but surely. I mean, look where we all started and how much more demand. And now all API and OS, it's, we're all heading back to concurrency. And so now the whole the whole of it, it is is that the weakest link still is the battery. And eventually with consumer demand saying, man, it'd be nice if we could do this, we're going to have to push it and try to figure out ways. Oh, you, 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 you know what? One of, your battery. one of two things are going to have to happen with battery technology with where consumer demand is pushing mobile. Because like you say, everybody wants to do what they do with their Oh dear God, desktop computer with their phone, with their whatever. So we either have to get the capacitance cell batteries that are still very much in their infancy, but if we can do things like uh, carbon nanotechnology and other things to have enough surface area to store the cells, we could give those enough life at a reasonable charge time. Or they're just going to have to accept that devices are going to have to start getting thicker and have removable slice batteries and other things. And it is one of two solutions is going to happen because the demand for what the device has to do, one of them's got to give. Yeah, there. Yeah, uh, and we are making improvements in the battery, but it's clearly computing and the OS fabrics. What I'm saying is getting intelligent in that, which I think is pretty is pretty uh, slick to uh, manage your power when you are on a battery. It's kind of it's kind of like uh, the the modern day cars like Ford letting you use only two cylinders, and then when you really want to hit the gas, it'll give you all eight and all that stuff. That, you know, that kind of philosophy. And, and I, they're, they're correct in doing it, because the world is clearly running uh, outside of business, I would say. Um, well, and let's be honest. It's typical based and desktop based, but consumers in general are really heavy deep C versus AC um, currently. Well, and let's be honest, business really isn't using computing. It's more the enthusiast that's using high-end, the, the enthusiast and the developer that's using the real performance power of computing these days, less so well, much. Well, what I mean by this is desktops. I mean, yeah, look, my, one of the law firms and insurance companies that I know have just switched to freaking Windows 7, you know, some months ago <laughs> from XP. So yeah, they're going to be behind for quite a while. And I think uh, when you were saying, when we were talking about Windows 8, I can put in a quick play, because I said it in my YouTube video too, is that Windows 8 may just have, have that fate happen to it where it's a skipped generation because everybody just left, a lot of people just left XP for Windows 7 and may just skip 8 and go to 9. Uh, well, it, you know, it, business is not always moving that fast. Well, and it's also a combination of the user. Really, that's been the Windows upgrade cycle for years. Basically, Microsoft tries something new, and then they don't get it quite right. But in the second incarnation, they kind of back off the things they went too far on, and you know, because the seven was Vista redone, taking away all the things that pissed people off, moving more. They've done the same thing with Windows eight. They'll listen and they'll make Windows nine a product they can sell. That's that's just good business. It's what they do. <laughs> so, but yeah, I, I, I this time around, um, I don't have Mavericks because uh, 
this year and sign up yet for the app developer. I've been doing other things. Well, you know what? You could go work at a Genius Bar because apparently they're expanding the testing to Genius Bar and Apple retail employees. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't. I, uh, but I'm going to assume because even with Lion and Mount Lion, all the pro features are still there. Actually, they made some of them even better. And, and uh, uh, I'm just saying what they brag about on stage. Uh, Versus the days of like when we talk about Apple, we used to really talk about power. It was really you know versus Intel, uh, stuff like Grand Central Dispatch, and when it was Leopard versus what was it, Leopard versus Vista or something back in the day. Now it's now. It's no, but uh, uh, Apple has. Yeah, they've so. given up on the whole versus. I've noticed that they're not doing any real versus stuff around this time because. I, yeah, I don't think Cook is that way. Yeah. Well, it, well, and, and you know what? It shows he learned from one of Apple's previous mistakes, because that was Apple's policy. Hi, us versus them, us versus them, us versus them, and eventually it bites him in the ass. That wasn't Apple's policy. That was Jobs. I know that, but he made it Apple's policy, <laughs> and it wound up biting App Jobs' personal "I'll get you" philosophy. Did wind up hurting right. Apple as a company, and. It, the new guard's like, no, 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 we are loyal to Apple as the company, and it's, you know, if they're not interested in doing that boomerang stuff. You know, and it's funny, I put on Twitter, it's like, you know, Apple has, has practically purged itself of, of re re you know, remains of things to give us this, this, cool, this cool new uh, iOS 7 UI. I wonder if there could be some more struggles internally, and I and, and I probably do believe that there is a ton, or I won't say a ton, a big portion of that that would like to make iOS a full web experience, including uh, Flash and other and other type of proprietary technologies. But they were shut down, not for technical reasons, but because Jobs was pissed off personally, like with many other things that were blocked that if they could have another internal struggle, perhaps iOS 7 could the full bear and be a real bad ass. Here's the thing there though. I think Apple actually has three internal struggles right now. One is the one you're talking about and that all the people who had good ideas who hadn't yet left Apple that were basically being jobs was their roadblock to making Apple a better company. He's gone now. They can make Apple a better company. But there's the legacy of but Steve Jobs was Apple, and they're like, do we really want to be too radical? Do we want to piss off the Jobinites? So there's still going to be some roadblocks in front of them. And then there's going to be the third war in Apple, which is, does Apple really want to be the, oh, what the hell, we're just going to go the fuck over here because we want to company anymore, because that can bite us in the ass. Do we just want to be conservative and do incremental upgrades on things and rack in profits until people figure out we're not cool? And I don't know. Well, Apple clearly listened to a lot of things in iOS. Task management is way better. Well, of course, it's WebOS task management. Uh, on the surface, I'm not saying it's functioning like that, but on the surface, it's nice, way nice. Um, to see to see them, and they can you can flip up. I mean, it is. There, what was it? The um, Rubis team actually uh, came on and blasted HP for not defending WebOS because it was a clear ripoff of WebOS when they did the gesture and swipe. But not even Android does that. Duarte, who I know works for Android. Wait. Oops. Hello. I mean. Can you hear me? You, you like got real laggy for a minute. Oh, yeah. It's just want me to turn off video. Uh, Screw it. Me now, right? I, I can hear you fine now. I, the last thing I heard was the uh, uh, WebOS whip off and HP. And oh, well, Rubenstein, yeah, I got pissed off at HP for not defending WebOS because uh, Apple clearly ripped them off for doing the swipe up. Um, but which was how WebOS worked to kill. Well, and you know, the reality is HP has kind of shelved WebOS. They don't want to oh, pursue it. I, I, it, 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 it. It's stupid. It, it, HP has fallen in line and thrown all their ducks behind Windows 8, which is stupid, really, considering they had a competitive advantage other Windows OEMs didn't. I don't know why they want to do this. But, but, I mean, it, it's... 
I don't think HP knows what the hell they want to do in this sector because it wasn't all that long ago they were seriously considering just shutting down that division of HP and becoming a software services company like IBM became. I, I, who knows? That's well, I was saying not even Android does that. It Duarte is the actual programmer from WebOS working for Google, and he and he has it on uh, Android swiping left to right. So I think you know, it was like, hey man, this is this is this is bullshit. But hey, it's that's how I always say, you know, that's where mobile needs to be, and it is, and it's happening. Um, this is that's just it. 